All right, hello everybody, it's BJ with Tipton 4x4. Real quick here today, we've got a uh, Dana 44 front axle. We're uh, putting some U-joints uh, in the front here. Their U-joints went bad. Just want to talk real quick about uh, parts. We took this thing apart. The U-joints uh, in the front knuckles here went bad. So it's real easy to go out to the parts house, grab you a $10 U-joint. Don't do that. Get a real joint, get some real parts, get a spicer or something thereabouts, uh, something uh, Yukon or something like that. Get you some good good joints, pay a little bit extra money. You're gonna really be glad you did when you get on the trail and uh, you're really relying on those parts. Hit up for wheel parts, Spider Off-Road, some of those other guys, the real good guys, Ben, and, uh, ben and Clyde and all those guys, uh, or your parts house, man. Uh, hit up for some good parts and uh, you'll be glad you did. Appreciate you coming by. Appreciate you stopping, checking out our page and looking at us. And uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you. What I'm doing here, we're going to put some tack welds on these uh, end caps. Uh, during uh, when you're really getting hard and beating on this thing really hard a few tack welds will help ensure that the uh, uh, The joints the caps don't pop out when you don't want them to even though the clips are holding them in It's a little insurance. I do sometimes with, the, uh, with people do that do really beat really hard on the rigs and this person does So we're gonna put a few tacks on it and if this doesn't hold uh, then we're just going to get some RCD shafts, but uh, this is uh, this should hold. It's a little trick I picked up, and uh, these are good quality spicer joints. And uh, we're going to put a few tack welds on it. This should be good. Well, we're all uh, tacked up and welded now, so we're going to put it back together. It's pretty simple. Just slide the unit bearing back on it. Washer, throw your nut on there. We'll get the cotter pin to cover here in a minute. Slide it back in. Make sure you don't smash your uh, your seal. It's kind of sometimes it takes a minute. It goes it takes a minute. Very quick and easy. This doesn't take long at all. Take the three bolts. You've got a funny head on these bolts. Half inch, 12 point socket or wrench. Works very, very well. So you got a little funny head on those bolts. You can come back in here with a half inch 12 point socket. And that quick this action is reassembled. Now all you got to do is uh, put your brakes back together. You'll be good to go. Now that you've got your axle all bolted up, slide your uh, caliper on there, or your, 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 your brake rotor on there. Put your brake caliper in here. The two bolts. We should line right on up. Don't go crazy tightening them up. A small impact but we're just gonna barely bump it we don't want to put a lot of torque on this
That's all it takes, just a little bit. It's done.